so that you can clearly see the definition of the back of the horse. My name's Nia and this is Rufus and today we're going to show you how to do a French plait in the horse's tail for competition. So you want to start with a nicely brushed tail all the way through. So I just have here normal tail brush to so just brush the tail. And then I have just some rubber platting bands in brown. So I'm going to keep those in my right pocket. Put a couple on my fingers. And I just have a, a main comb just to take out any knots from the top. I'll pop that in my other pocket. And a little tip I have is that if your fingers are really slippery from any mane and tail on the tail, you can just put a little bit on the tops of your fingers and rub them together and that will stop the hair slipping out of your fingers. So it's best if you're above the horse, that makes it easier for when pulling the hairs together. So you're going to start with three sections. So you're going to split the top section of tail into three. And you're going to start as if it's a normal plait, bringing a light side piece over the middle and the other outside piece over the new section of hair. Then you continue on as if it's a normal plait, but you're going to grab a piece of hair from the outside and you're going to bring it in across the middle section to join the piece of hair you just moved over. And I'm going to get the other outside piece, bring it over and grab a piece of hair from the outside again, bring it over as well to join it and keep those two pieces of hair together and then pull tight, bring the outside piece over, take a section of hair from the outside, bring it into the middle to join the other piece that you just brought over, pull tight. So it's an important that the bit that you're about to bring over that you pull nice and tight and hold it in place with your thumb on top and your finger out underneath of it. So you keep it nice and tight. And then you continue to do that. So I pull, hold. And you want to keep the sections of hair that you bring from the outside nice and small. Otherwise, the hair will ruffle in the middle. So you don't want it. That would be too thick. Like so I'm going to take about half of that. Try to take it from the outside. Bring it into the middle. Keep having a look to make sure it's nice and straight going down the middle of the tail. Pull nice and tight. And then you want to plait just normally all the way down to the end. Make sure you're keeping it nice and tight. Okay, so that is about long enough. So to finish it, you can do it in two ways. Nice and tight, and then you just fold the end up. Let's get a platen band. Wrap it around the end of the tail. And then just lay it down flat. And then you want to get the end and bring it up underneath itself. And then just tuck it up behind the plait. 
just like that. And then we'll get a second platen band. And you're just gonna go over what you've just rolled up, went to the top of the tail, twist it, bring it around. Make sure everything's lying nice and flat. Second way, you can tie the end of the tail up if it's a bit shorter. You just roll the end up and then twist the excess hair around the end. Just keep it in place. Then you can just get a plaiting band and twist it around the whole area. It doesn't have to be too neat because it's going to be tucked up under the tail. Then it's the same as before, you get the end, bring it underneath the tail and up behind the plait. And then secure it like before. And then you want to make sure that the, the plait comes to, it's just below the point of buttocks here so that you can clearly see the definition of the back of the horse.